it's two big things happen this week. The first thing is Folklore. I think Folklore might be one of my favorite Taylor Swift albums ever, so that's saying a lot. I just want to talk about a couple of my favorite songs from the album. The first one being The Last Great American Dynasty. Wow. Is this song catchy or what? I love it. It's so cool. It's so cute. I love how it tells a story. I love how Taylor Swift is involved since she's talking about the previous owners of her house. I just think it's a great song. Betty. This song is so good. It reminds me totally of the Fearless album. I love how the song sounds. I love the story in it. It's just really cute. The One. This song I liked on my first listen, but it wasn't until I'd listened to the album a couple times when I realized this is perhaps my favorite song on the album. I love that line about roaring 20s throwing pennies in the pool. That line is so good. On my first listen, my favorite song on the album was Invisible String. I still really like this song. To me, it sounds a little bit like Fleetwood Mac's Landslide combined with Miley Cyrus's Butterfly Fly Away. If you know those two songs, it sounds like this song is the baby of those two songs. I really like this song. I think it's cute. It's nice. But I will say I think I over, have over listened to it. Exile obviously is an amazing song. The minute I heard Bon Iver was going to be on it, I knew it was going to be good. It makes me feel very melancholy, but like in a very cool, cool vibes kind of way. So I really like it a lot. Cardigan obviously is an instant classic. It kind of gives me Lana Del Rey vibes for sure. Peace in August and Seven. I really like these songs. Um, they're great songs. That's all there is to say. Overall thoughts? I love all the metaphors she uses in this album. I like the way all the songs are a little more mellow and laid back. Just what we need right now to keep us all centered. All in all, God bless Taylor Swift. That's all I have to say about it. The second thing I want to talk about is The Kissing Booth 2. As some of you guys may or may not know, I love The Kissing Booth. Even though it's a little cringy, a little awkward, I love it. So I was very excited that the second one was coming out. And I'm even more excited that the third one is coming out next year and has already been filmed. That was genius of them to film it ahead of time. The Kissing Booth 2 I thought was really good. I loved all the little montage scenes. I loved all the actors. Um, the last hour I found very stressful just because it was like, is she going to go with Marco? Has Noah been cheating? Has he not been cheating? What's up with this girl who keeps hanging around him? What's going to happen with the friendship between Lee and... And L. I don't know. Like, it was just really a roller coaster ride. I felt bad for how it ended with Marco, but I also feel like we didn't have full closure, which makes me think he's for sure gonna turn up again in Kissing Booth 3. I loved the dance competition. That scene was great. I'm really glad that Noah wasn't cheating on Elle in the end. All in all, a good movie. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. This has been a Let's Talk recap of the week. Like, subscribe, share. New videos every Tuesday.